Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to cover high order mesh export. In the display window, you'll notice that I have a hybrid grid for the rotor 37 geometry. I've already specified CGNS as my file type and set up all of my high order mesh export attributes. So I'm going to go ahead and select my block and go to File, Export, CAE, give it a file name, click Save, and click OK to begin the degree elevation process. Now there's three areas that you kind of want to keep an eye on. The first is the high order mesh export table, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Next is the display window where you're going to notice a probe kind of dancing around in the scene and that's where the smoother is working the hardest. Followed by the messages window where we're going to get some information about the elevation process and the Jacobians. So let's go ahead and talk about the table with the, starting with the first entry, which is the elevation degree. In this case, it is set to Q2 or degree two followed by the current smoothing pass that it's on. Next is the iterations, followed by the nodes that have been moved, the negative cost nodes, how many there are, the Q threshold or cost function value threshold that we specified, the Q min value and its location, which is actually indicated by this probe in the display. And you'll notice that that probe is hanging around some curvature in the geometry, so it's working a little bit harder in that area. Now there's a couple of things you want to keep in mind about the Q min value. If you notice it kind of oscillating and hanging, you may want to decrease your step size relaxation factor. If it's hanging in a specific area, you may want to take a look at the geometry there because there could be some issues in that vicinity. In this particular case, once it gets past this, it's going to start to rapidly increase towards our Q threshold value. And you'll notice right here the Q min value is now increasing. Once it meets or exceeds that value, it'll go ahead and check the Jacobians. If they're all positive, it'll go ahead and export the mesh. If any of the Jacobians are negative, it'll go ahead and start another smoothing pass. So you'll notice that that cumin value has just exceeded our threshold. So we're going to get some information in the messages window regarding our Jacobians. So here you'll notice that the normalized Jacobian minimum value is still negative, which was reported as an error. So it's going to begin a second smoothing pass and start the iterations again. Once all the Jacobians are positive, like I mentioned, it'll go ahead and export the high order mesh. So that is high order mesh export in PointWise. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.